Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and we are going to go look in the Urban Worm Bag with my African night colors. Okay. Oh, moth. Oh, several moths. Weird. Okay, that's certainly a first. Got some sprouts, sprouty things. Okay, I'm not sure what the heck caused moths. Okay, so let's have a look at them and see what they're doing in here. Looks like they're all pretty happy. Kind of dig in here a little bit. I am overdue again on um, my harvest. Seriously, what the heck did I feed them? I had moths. Anybody knows what the heck's going on? I've got moths. Please leave that in the comments below. They just keep coming. Okay, you guys are seeing them, right? It's not just me. Okay, so I'll just kind of got a worm breaking into the avocado pit there. Move things over and see what we can find. pit. Still got the tamale wrappers in progress. Moisture feels really good. Even the uh, compostable bags are kind of making progress in here. But the worms look pretty happy in here. I don't see an excess of any sort of pest species, except for the moths. Okay. Well, it looks like I didn't get here in time to see any kind of a worm ball or anything. Food looks like it's pretty much gone. Got some onion wrappers there. So aside from my tamale wrappers and a couple onion skins, and it looks like a paper towel. All right. Well, let's let's make kind of a trench here down the middle, and we will feed them up. Just put the leftovers in the middle here. And then today, I have a bag of coffee and moldy baby oranges and let's see, yep, um, mostly coffee and paper and a couple of oranges. So that won't be a super nutritious feeding for them. But that is what is in the queue, so that is what they get. I did some trimming of my house plants, and I'm going to put that in there too. I've done this before and haven't had any problems, so I'll just make sure that there's, obviously the pots aren't going in there. Uh, but yeah, some house plant trimmings. Some pepper plants that did not overwinter. I don't have good luck with evergreens, so those are going to go in the out, outside compost. But these uh, pepper plants that didn't make it overwintering are going to go in, as well as some transcendacea and angel wing begonia. They get kind of leggy over the winter and have to be trimmed up or otherwise they take over the whole room. So I'm just going to bury everything under some of the existing castings. Piece of aloe. That usually goes pretty fast. Alright, well, there you have it. 
I am overdue. As I said, as soon as I get a harvest on this, it'll level will drop probably five or six inches. But that's for later this week. So if you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber to my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. Well, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. Everybody, have a good day.